Uh-oh. Engineer 775 here. Lightning strike took out the solar edge inverter. We've been here before, and it's being replaced with a new HD wave solar edge, same 7.6 kilowatt. But we got a lot of funky stuff going on here um, because it is AC coupled <laughs> to a Magnum. This is one that uh, Johnny Boy did, I think it was five years ago. And since then, the customer added another bank of batteries. We got hit with lightning. One of the, uh, I don't know how this was installed, but there was an EMP shield here somewhere. It did not protect the system from lightning, but I did not install it. Uh, so when I got here, wires were just dangling. And somebody mounted this inverter on a wall, and they're like, and they left because the wires were too short. So all we did was move the inverter up um, about a foot and a half and then just recut these in. So we got plenty of wire and we're gonna, so what's going on here, this coil, this, uh, this is a, a mercury switch and contactor, that's not a coil, it's a contactor. It's got 48 volts to it. That is controlled by the auxiliary in the Magnum controller. And it uses frequency shifting to control whether that is on or off. So it's basically an on or off contactor con taking the AC output from the solar edge and charging the batteries. It's a little bit brutal. And it's a little bit brutal. In this case, what we're doing is we're going to take, when we go off grid, we ended up adding an IMO switch to cut the amount of uh, power in half coming off the roof there's 30 panels so when he's off grid he's gonna have the opportunity to turn this off he doesn't he can turn it back on if he's running a water heater it's running enough load in the house but when that when this gets blasted with the full 30 panels it don't sound so good it don't act so happy so um we're gonna we're gonna detune it for off grid and then we're trying to figure out the coolest way to Make sure that if the battery's voltage drops down where the inverter goes off, if it hits the low voltage disconnect, then we're really in trouble. So we're giving them an option where you can put an external AC charger in here, run it with a little Predator generator. And we're also looking at a solar solution. Johnny with said hijack a few panels off the roof. I'm not a big fan of that yet. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with a different charge controller. But... A lot, of, a lot of ways to skin a cat. We got internet going in here, and that's a good thing because we got to use the, what is the app, set app, Will? Set app, Solar Edge set app. Yeah, the new, you can't, there's no display on this inverter. So without the internet, you're you're messed up. So you got to have uh, the internet. We just got that hooked up in the room here. So I think we're good for that. So going to get everything landed and hopefully be able to turn this baby on and see if we can get this thing grid tied. Then we're gonna go and do an off-grid hammer the battery test with uh, this uh, mercury contactor. So, does that sound exciting? I don't know, what did I do with the, I lost the EMP shield. I was gonna show you that, I said it somewhere. Anyway, we'll be back. Installing okay, um, we're installing firmware on the HD Wave. Willis has got it connected. Go through it, Willis. Tell me what you did. So you bring up the set. I'm not going to touch the setup because it'll screw everything up. But uh, you bring in, uh, bring up your setup. You scan your QR code, and then it directs you to pull this switch to the Shut left off. for two seconds and release okay. it. You hit continue on here, on that screen, and then it connects, and it does what it's doing now, which is, it, my phone's connected to here. Right. And it's install, it's pushing a firmware update that's been downloaded to my phone. And then you, the next step will be to connect the inverter to his router. No? Well, yeah. You, it's just pretty, you just follow it. But just yeah, follow the, you the follow setup. The, it's pretty... But I have a hard time following instructions. Yeah, but they want you to. Okay. But yeah, the next the next couple steps are just setting up the Wi-Fi, and then we'll connect it to the customer's... Uh, router. To, to his, his router, and we'll also associate this device with his Solar Edge monitoring account so he can see it. Gotcha. And we'll take the old one off so he won't... 
it's so he won't see a dead invert if it's not there. So it's, they they've made it fairly easy. I hope we got nine minutes left. Oh we, man, we had 11, lunchtime. We had eleven minutes, ten minutes ago. Okay, parting shot. We got the HD wave up and producing. Got the internet hooked up. We got a isolator. We tested this. It's, we'll cut the power in half. That was actually a good idea. Johnny Boy had that idea. And uh, so we can cut, so we don't hammer the battery as much. Contact to work. It did get stuck once. We did um, force it closed. Um, but I think we're back to resetting it. It's, I mean, it's fine. I added the EMP shield in. We're good to go on this. I am going to come up with an auxiliary. The only weakness now is if the battery gets down to the low voltage disconnect, this inverter will not start up. Thus, it won't power up the, the HD wave. That is a problem. So we're looking at two things, a generator to charge this and a couple of solar panels just to have a, like a battery tender added. Just once that voltage is up high enough, the inverter will start, which will fire up the solar edge and will then um, start exporting power to the battery. And uh, so this is why we like Solarks. Um, the Solark replaces a grid tie inverter. It replaces uh, chargers and masters and slaves and it replaces um, this controller, uh, this contactor gizmo. It does grid tie. It is EMP hardened. It replaces all of this stuff in one box. So this is where we were about five years ago and uh, it's come a long ways. So I just wanted to share with you the progression. I know you see a lot of the same things. So, um, I mean, this works, but it's kind of clunky, but it's it gives them power when the grid's out and it offsets their build during normal time. So this is Engineer 775 signing out. If you need help getting a system, uh, just, just let me know, we'll hook you up.